Yeah, good morning, uh, Daniel, right? Yes. Uh, been what, since August 1st since I've been here last. Yeah, a little bit cooler today. And it's a little cooler today. It's really pleasant today. It sure is. So it looks like the building is done, and uh, how did they do? I think they did a fantastic job. We're really happy with the concrete pier system. Um, I think every, every farmer or rancher considering putting up a building should look at this system. Um, never going to have to worry about poles rotting in the ground. I think uh, you know, once the building's up, it's pretty well maintenance free and we won't have to worry about ever having to replace poles that have rotted out and uh, just uh, one less thing you have to worry about with the building. So are you telling me on your next building that you're going to buy, you automatically put these, uh, you're going to insist on having these brackets put in your building? Absolutely. I yeah. think the extra cost of the brackets and the concrete is just minimal compared to what the expense could be down the road having to replace poles. Yeah. I think it's a no-brainer. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And tell me what you see. Are you sure that this is where uh, you... I'm with uh, Cy Wagenbaum here in Tremont, Illinois. All right, so we're here talking about uh, the uh, concrete pier system that uh, Jack Cutford in Mexico and Missouri invented and, and innovated and patented and all this good stuff, and you've been using that for a few years. We've probably been using that for probably six to seven years and something like that. Um, it was one of the best things we've ever done, really. Okay. Um, you know, it cut a lot of time uh, of straightening the building up. Yeah. And when, once we got the brackets in, in the uh, ground, uh, the concrete and ground the brackets in, uh, it had cut your Put your building up uh, time of labor because once you put your poles in and screw the into the brackets it's straight yeah. everything is straight so uh, uh, when you when you sell a building with the bracket in it do you sell it against uh, all kinds of other buildings oh like yes that? yes and one of the advantages i would think is that uh, you don't have any rotten post to fear in your building that's one thing, one reason we've done it. Uh, not only doesn't it, the post are rotten off, it's literally a stronger building when you get done. Mm -hmm. The uplift, uh, uh, wind loads uh, from the side of pushing, uh, even just with the bracket itself, gives you tremendous strength. What what would be one of the tallest buildings you ever built? We built 24 foot. 24 e, feet. 24 foot each. And most, uh, like most uh, buildings today, the farmers are getting taller and taller, but our average building today is probably an 18 foot ceiling, a 21 foot eave. Uh, and it seems like we just keep getting taller. Yeah. So what, what, what is your biggest market, ag or commercial? We do a lot of commercial, we do a lot of ag. I'd say it's 50-50. Uh, but either one. Uh, like a lot of them, we pour foundations, like a four foot wall, we use the same brackets. Uh, and it, uh, well, once you get the, the brackets set, it's really amazing how quick that pole building goes out. I mean, uh, my boys uh, are out there when they do it. It's in a, in a day's time, it takes a pretty large building for us not to have a frame up ready for trusses. <laughs> well, for one thing, I think that, that, that one thing we, that you see in any pole building, as you sell a pole building, you want to look at the site and see how level it is. And you know, the farmers usually want you to take care of that problem because they just want to have the building. Yeah. Well, years ago it was, uh, in, in this industry, it was sold, when salesmen sold the building, like uh, customer, you prepared the site, right. and every time you got out there, it was a surprise. Right, because they never did have they too never, much of a they level never got prepared. <laughs> and, and this is uh, one of the solutions for it. It really is. It, yeah. uh, it, it really gives you a totally complete building. When you, for one thing, when you use these buildings, you, uh, there's a lot of co 
people want to go with a commercial building because it's got a foundation. And uh, this is giving you that building, really, when you're done. It, it's got a complete foundation uh, underneath each pole. And when you pour, if you pour a floor inside of it, it it's like a, a uh, you know, that floor is sitting on that pier because that's a 16 inch hole where you set the bracket in. And that floor is sitting on a, a pier system all the way around that building. So, if I understand this correctly, unlike a prefabricated concrete column, that has to be set to something level down in the hole. Right. You set the top of your concrete to a laser beam exactly where right. you can see it Yep. and it's not hidden. Exactly right. We pour that whole pier that's 16 inches diameter, 4 foot deep, and we clean it out well, and that's solid concrete all the way up. Yeah. And then we set these brackets right in there. Uh, once you set the brackets and we plumb them, yeah. Uh, both ways because I tell you what once you get them brackets set that's it that's it that is it and and you want want them to be right very simple uh, my men can usually set uh, we did buildings up to 200 foot long and have them all set by 230 pour drill set done by 230 and when the guys come to build the building it's very simple uh, they most of the time, they set their batter boards is to set the brackets. Them brackets are straight as an arrow. Yeah. So that, it really uh, cuts a lot of time down. Another thing uh, I heard you mention earlier that once you set your column on the bracket and bolt it to the bracket, you actually don't need to brace it. No bracing, uh, it, unless you have, you know, of a good well, storm coming through. Unless a storm is in the park. That would be yeah. a reason. But most of the time, the bracing is, it's, you it have none. Not necessary. And you can climb that side of that pole building and there's none of this waving and stuff because that is won't happen again. But I can promise it'll be over.